right, kids, welcome. Good to see you again. Let's sing our song when we get kind of a little crazy. I'm a live awake alert enthusiastic. I'm a live awake alert enthusiastic. I'm a live awake alert. I'm alert awake alive. I'm a live awake alert enthusiastic. I'm a live awake alert enthusiastic. I'm a live awake alert enthusiastic. I'm a live awake alert. I'm alert awake alive. I'm a live awake alert enthusiastic. Ready? I'm a live awake alert enthusiastic. I'm a live awake alert enthusiastic. I'm a live awake alert. I'm alert awake alive. I'm a live awake alert enthusiastic. All right, I'm wondering if any of you like queens or princesses or kings or stories of violence and intrigue because today we're going to hear the story of Queen Esther. It's a whole book of the Bible named after her, Esther. And I'm going to just tell you her story briefly and I'm going to use a few props. Now, the king of Persia, Xerxes, was married to someone named Vashti, which didn't last. I'm not going to go into it, but he needed a new wife. And Esther was one of the most beautiful women in the kingdom, and he chose Esther to be his new wife. Now, Esther had a cousin named Mordecai, and Mordecai was a good guy. Whenever you hear me say Mordecai, say, yay! Now, in fact, Mordecai one time, along with Esther, saved King Xerxes because his life was in danger and they warned him and nothing happened to him. So yay, Mordecai. Well, Mordecai, or hey, King Xerxes had an evil advisor. We're just gonna use this hat for him because it's not a Seahawk hat. His name was Haman. So whenever you hear me say Haman, say boo. Well, Haman did not like the Jews. And Esther and Mordecai were Jews, only the king didn't know it. And Haman convinced the king to kill all the Jews. Well, Mordecai, yay, overheard Haman's evil plot. He went to Esther and said, beautiful Queen Esther, wait, beautiful Queen Esther, you need to warn the king that Haman is doing this and convince him not to do it. It might be for just such a time as this that you have become queen. So Esther decided to have a party and she actually had two parties. She invited the king and she invited Haman and while she was at the first party, she overheard that Haman had built a gallows on which to hang Mordecai. Because, do you know what Mordecai wouldn't do? And by the way, yay, Mordecai! Mordecai would not bow down to the king because Mordecai said, I only bow to God. So that's why Haman thought he should die. Well, then Esther had another party. She had a party and she invited the king and she told the king that Haman was planning to kill the Jews. And she said, I am a Jew. And so the king remembered Mordecai saving his life, gave Mordecai, yay, a bunch of nice clothes, dressed him up and said, I am not going to kill anyone except guess who got to go on his own gallows? Haman. Boo, Haman. But yay, Esther. She saved her people because she knew it was the right thing to do. And I'm thinking about that this week for you kids and things sometimes that we do because they're the right thing to do like staying at home, like helping out your parents, like being kind to people, maybe calling your grandma and grandpa to cheer them up and doing FaceTime with them, all kinds of things like that. That's what God wants us for. And like Mordecai told Esther, it might be for just such a time as this that you are here. 
sometimes you are here for a reason too. And there are people that you can help and be kind to in your life. So we're going to sing a song that I like called King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And it's kind of one that you might want to dance to a little bit. We'll sing it through a couple times. It's pretty easy. It goes like this. King of kings and Lord of lords, glory, alleluia. King of kings and Lord of lords, glory, alleluia. Jesus, Prince of Peace, glory, Alleluia, Jesus, Prince of Peace, Glory, Alleluia. One more time faster. King of kings and Lord of lords, Glory, Alleluia. King of kings and Lord of lords, Glory, Alleluia. Jesus, Prince of Peace, Glory, Alleluia. Jesus, Prince of Peace, Glory, Alleluia. Will you pray with me? Dear God, I thank you for Queen Esther who did so much by saving her people and for Mordecai for being a strong and willing helper as well. And I pray that you would make all of us willing to help the people we love. So what I want you to do, kids, is I would like you to talk with your parent or whoever you might be watching the video with of what are some ways that you might be able to help each other. And maybe some things you liked about the story of Esther, some things you have questions about. You can talk about your highs and your lows and then give each other a blessing. Remember that you were marked with the cross when you were baptized, marked with the cross forever. So give each other a blessing and say a prayer together and have a great week. I'll see you next time.